right, the best me in 23 continues today with a topic on the minds of so many Americans. When and how can I ever retire? Here to help make that wallet over and save for those golden years is personal finance expert and host of the So Money podcast, Farnoosh Torabi. Good to have you back, Farnoosh. Farnoosh. Welcome. Um, we talk about retirement all the time around when here. When can we retire? When can we retire? And I keep seeing people that are living longer and longer and longer So and does longer. that push back the age of retirement? It is. Pete, this is the number one question often that I get from my audience. I've been working in personal finance for 20 years. Study after study, in fact, shows that most Americans are scared that they're going to arrive in retirement with not enough to just cover their basics. Forget going on a vacation or, you know, retiring, that image of retiring on the, on the beach, playing tennis, playing golf. I mean, people just want to pay their mortgage right. in retirement. We are living longer, and that's really a part of it. So what are easy ways to save? So we've got five tips. And the first one, I want to make this as easy as possible. Okay. First, and this is what I do, OK? And write this down, <laughs> everybody at home, in got your notebooks. Right. So first is let the robots make your investment decisions. So what do I mean by robots? These aren't, this is not RT, R2D2, right? right? This not is not bot bots. Not bot right. bots. Right. These are, this is technology driven, automated platforms that the really established financial firms are using. Even financial planners use these to invest their clients' money. But it's really simple, low fee. You go on, they ask you a series of questions like, when do you want to retire? What's your risk tolerance? Within seconds, they have a diversified portfolio for you that is low fee. Because remember when I, you, when I was doing it in my 20s, it was like acronyms, looking up mutual funds, it was crying. Right. It was so hard. The night to understand. It's not efficient. So now it's super efficient. So that's the first tip. Let the robo advisors or robots do it. Trust is there, Trust is there an, an app or something people should go to? Um, all of these financial brokers have apps. They make it super easy. It's super tech driven. I like all of them, to be honest. Okay. So just pick the one that really speaks to you. Okay. Second tip is bank on free money. So if you work for a company and they offer what's known as a 401k match, mm -hmm. at least do that. Because we're supposed to save at least 10% of our paychecks with every pay cycle. If you can't do that, at least do the match. And how it works is most companies that do this give you 50 cents for every dollar that you put in up to 6% of your salary. So that's really getting you a head start. Okay. And, and, then, and then what? Next, commit to saving tomorrow. This is a behavioral psychological study that they have done. What we find is that we're really lazy. We don't like to save on our own. So commit to automatically investing as your income increases every year. You can actually opt into this save more tomorrow program at work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They'll do it for you. And studies show that when we do this, over a three-year period, we go from saving just 3% to 14%. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that's huge. Next, delay collecting Social Security. So this can be a little bit challenging, but if you really can stick it out, you can start at 62, but wait till the latest, which is age 70, because for every year that you wait, you earn an extra 8% in terms of what you're going to collect every month. So just this year, We've done the numbers. If you are 62 and collecting Social Security this year, you're going to make about $3,600 a month. Okay. But if you're 70 and collecting this year, it's $4,500 a month. That's almost yeah. another $10,000, $12,000. And then finally, I love this, imagine yourself in the future, older you, because when you see it, you believe it. No problem. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> so a Stanford study actually found that when we see an age progression of ourselves, like in our 70s, our 80s, we really feel for this person, and we're more inclined to invest, and we invest more. And you we become, mean visually? Yes, yes. So, um, Andrea, our, your digital producer, is taking one for the team. Okay, yes. what is she and doing? She oh. is going to show us. Finally. So this is beautiful Andrea today. Yes. Okay, let's okay, see. And then age progressed using any, any of the free apps out there. I mean, still beautiful, but... She's me she all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andrea, keep this as your screensaver because yeah. this is going to encourage you to increase your 401k. How did Andrea keep her body 30 years old? Right? And her hair. She's rich they now. She, oh, she's, she's rich. That's she it. must have saved she a lot of money. They say the trick to aging gracefully is to keep your hair the same shape and length. Okay. Like yeah. Gloria Steinem. Yes. Andrea. Okay. You're off to a great start. Well done, Andrea. Good job, Andrea. For more info, you can visit our website, kellyandryan.com. Farnoosh, great to see you. Thanks Thank for you the for tips. Thank you great tips. Well always. done. We'll be right back after this. Yes. Are your finances in need of a mini makeover? Go to kellyandryan.com to submit your finance questions, and they might be answered on our show.